Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. I've got a junk journal page tutorial for you today. I've got a couple of digital downloads from the Positive Vibes large journal kit that I offer in my shop. This is a kit that's part of my subscription box that Norella of Calico Cola digitally created. The background here that you're seeing is a hand-drawn design that I created that Norella has used as part of the embellishment. So what I'm going to tell you is for this page tutorial, if you have a scrapbook paper or a calendar or wallpaper or just anything that has a pattern across it that we can fussy cut will work, okay? Look at those papers and see what will have uh, the right markings for this particular project. Do you know if you're watching this video that you can go below and speed it up to two times the speed to get through it faster if you so choose. So I have these two digital images and then I have three pages from a large dictionary. It's almost eight and a half by 11. It's just a little bit, not as big as eight and a half by 11, but pretty close and close enough to me. What I did off camera was I trimmed this page to be the same width as the dictionary page so it'll be easier in the next steps so what i'm going to do now is i've got my scissors here and i can do one of two things i could fussy cut this or i can tear it and i think today i'm going to fussy cut it i'm just going to loosely kind of give this a little bit of an edge all the way down and i'm going to do this to both pieces of the digital downloads okay so i fussy cut both pieces and i want to keep them matched to each other so try not to mix them up if you cut away because i am going to use both of these pieces next i'm going to use some walnut stain distress ink and i'm going to use the ranger ink blending tool and i'm going to put distress inks all down this cut edge Next, I'm going to take one of these dictionary pages and I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some glue in here to keep these pages folded in half and glued together. So now this is a half sheet. And I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to position this just slightly away from this edge up here. And I'm going to glue it down. I find if I go ahead and just put glue on that top or what we call the leading edge, that works the best. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue across the bottom of the page that I'm gluing it to. Since it is shorter than what I'm putting the pieces together. So just a little bit down from the top. And if there's any excess glue i just wipe it away because it's a clear glue or white glue that turns clear it works just fine now i thought i trimmed this but i'm going to go ahead and manually do it all right so now that i've got that together i'm going to let it dry for a moment and i'm going to do the same thing on the other one all right the first one should be dry enough ish if it's still really damp for you let it dry completely because the next step will be harder to do if it's still wet so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to tear this top edge loosely around the image basically i'm using my finger i'm holding it down to give me a guide to rip so if you ever have a problem getting your page to rip where you want use your other hand to hold the paper down. So now I've got that torn edge across the top and I'm gonna use some distress inks on this edge. I'm gonna take my dictionary page and I'm going to line up the printed page across the top here and glue it into place. This is why it's important to keep that upper portion if you fussy cut it because it automatically gives you a new way of putting this page together just like that so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to glue down the sides and across the bottom and this is going to become a pocket i'm going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing with the other piece i will glue it in place and i will rip across the top here
We're going to set this aside and let it dry for a moment and then we'll come back to it. So prior to the video, I took some scraps of paper. This was a piece of cardstock that I have and I cut it into a four by six piece. And then I took one of my mixed media pages. You can see how I make these mixed media pages on my Thursday live streams. And I cut it to be five and three quarters by four, no, three and three quarters of an inch. And I've already applied some distress inks all the way around the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this in the center of the purple card. Then I've got a piece of lace that's from the Positive Vibes kit. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to measure by using this as the measuring device and trim a piece of this lace the same length as the top of this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back on one edge. Just a small amount of glue there. And then I'm going to take this lace piece and lay that into that glue. And that'll basically touch the, attach these two pieces together. I'm just kind of patting it down. And now I'm going to put glue all over on the back side, even on top of this lace, so that it will stick to my page or my journal card that I'm making. And then let's put it somewhat in the top corner there. If you need to, because it is lace, you could maybe put a acrylic block or a book on top to get it to lay flat. So we've got this one, and then earlier I made this one. And again, these pieces are from the digital download positive vibes for the large journal kit. So now let's go back to this page. What I'm going to do is go ahead and fold it in half. So I'm just kind of putting my fingers in the middle so that I can guide this over so it doesn't crinkle up on me and then pressing that out so that's what one side looks like that's what the other and then when you open it up that's what it looks like I've got a couple more of these fussy cut elements that are part of the kit and I think I'm going to put that right here on that side I think that'll look good there and I'm going to go ahead and put hope over here so I'm going to glue those into place on this side I'm going to stamp so let me get my ink pad and I've got the journal from the journal quartet that I'm going to stamp on this side and I'm using black archival ink because it's waterproof. I just like using it. It dries fast. And then on this side, I'm going to use live each moment. So that gives a little bit at the top here. And then we'll fill the pocket. So I've got a journal card here and I've got one from the digital download as the kit. I'll flip this over and I'll put one over here. And this is another one from the digital download that I'll put over there. So that was how you can use maybe a pattern of something to make a pocket on a junk journal page that looks like it just goes right together. So you have space on either side. You also have writing space at the top as well. It's just a fun little journal page. You can also just make this into a greeting card if you wanted and give that to somebody. Maybe write some notes to them of how much you care about them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it gives you some ideas. Pull some of those things from your stash or maybe even order the digital download and create. Create things, okay? That's what I'm asking you to do. Create things. If you do create something, you know, tag me on social media, especially on Facebook or Instagram. I love seeing what other people come up with once they have a little idea. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Check the description box below for links to the things that I used today and share today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I will try to answer that as quickly as possible. If you haven't already subscribed, please do and hit that notification bell at the top because I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. showing you how to make journals and then on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time showing you mixed media techniques and fun stuff. All right, everybody, have a fabulous day and we'll see you soon. Bye.